I just thought to myself, Lord, just use me. I didn't really want to do it to start with, but I felt like God was calling me to do it. I met a young mother of 26 years of age. She had eight children. I would help her financially, and um, the next thing I know, the children, they went into foster care. I was able through the school to locate the foster parents, Donna and Frank LaChance, uh, through Faith Bridge. So the people at Faith Bridge are outstanding. Um, our circle of care, we've had um, some individuals that, that really do help out, um, help Robin uh, you know, during the week watching the child. There may not be any blood kin, as people say, oh my goodness, how do you survive without family? I have family and I have all the confidence in the world, and I love Mount Bethel. I think one of the benefits of being a foster family is that we are working in a ministry together. The response that I get is, oh, I could never do that. My response is, how do you know if you don't let go and let God? One time Greg said something I thought was very um, profound. He, he said, when someone asks, how do you give them back? I just couldn't do that. It would be too hard. And he said, I can't not take them because I know there are kids out there who need us. And to me, that's harder than to give them back. Our adoption was final on March 31st of 2010. And uh, it's been a, a glorious road. Just the family has grown as, as a unit too through, through this whole process and uh, will continue to grow. There are thousands and thousands of children out there in this Atlanta area that need a place to lay their head. Give that child a chance.